I installed Grinder when I was 14. I think I got it because I wanted to know what it was like, and I didn't put my face on my profile because I knew I didn't look 18 and I was scared that I'd get in trouble for it. Within the first hour, I had several men ask for photos of me and ask for my real age. When I sent them face photos, it was because I felt comfortable with them. I lied and said I just turned 16, and yet they continued their conversation. Looking back, I now know how harmful installing Grinder at that age was for me. I had this man, who is in his 30s, ask to meet me so I could give him a sexual favour. I didn't want to disappoint him, so I left and met him at a car park. And I was around 14 and a half at this point. This man was one of the people who I felt especially comfortable with, which led to me sharing my real age to him. He obviously didn't care considering he asked to meet me. After I met him and did things with him, I was scared that my mum would find out, so I uninstalled Grinder. The urge to get it again just followed me, and I'm now 18 and I have so many regrets, and I wish I could take back what I did. I thought it'd be useful to reach out to Grindr themselves in hopes of discussing how we can create a more safer and nurturing app for their users. I spoke to the Vice President of Grindr and Head of Comms, Mr. Patrick Lanahan. This is what he had to say. The Grindr app is for adults only and all users are asked to verify their age before opening an account. Use of our app by anyone under the age of consent in their home country is a violation of our terms of service and we block and shut down accounts for anyone who violates these terms. Grindr is classified under the 17 plus category in both Apple and Google Play stores, which means parental control settings in both of these operating systems can be used to stop it from being downloaded. Villainization doesn't get anyone anywhere. For the last two months now, I've been posing openly as a minor on Grindr. I did this as a little experiment to see how quickly Grindr would be able to shut down the account. But unfortunately, almost three months later, the account is still active and receiving dozens of messages per day. I was very open and clear about my age when interacting with anyone in the app as a hope that this would deter them or lead to them reporting me. But unfortunately, it showed that it almost encouraged a conversation with them. It didn't deter them, it spurred them on. I've been on Grindr on and off for the last three years now. And it has only been in the last three months that I have received one of the most vile, abhorrent, and disgusting things I have ever seen in my life. So as you can see, the things that I got messaged and the things that I received were from people, some of them old enough to be my grandfather, some of them married men, some of them people my own age. But sending things like that to someone who you believe to be a minor, it is vile. Grinder has been a staple of the LGBTQ community for years now. And instead of using this to promote equality and change, they have used their platform to perpetuate harmful and dangerous stereotypes, which are insanely damaging to the young and vulnerable LGBTQ community. As a community and as allies to the community, we need to come together and educate ourselves and form a safer understanding world for the youth of the LGBTQ community to thrive in. They boast a help centre, which they say their users can go to if they feel unsafe or need to report concern. But if you are a minor who somehow has managed to sneak through their security systems and find yourself on the app, there is nothing for you. Grindr are very good at pushing the blame off of themselves and onto its users. When I was around 14, I was extremely awkward. I'd just come out as gay and I didn't have any friends and I was just generally socially anxious. Given that I didn't even have any social skills to make new friends, it's not surprising that I decided I'd finally download Grindr and see what it was like. 
I was extremely naive and inexperienced when it came to dating and sex, and I set up my grinder profile with a nice picture of myself in a very brief bio. Once my pictures were approved, I got messages very quickly. One kind of message was called, quote, Dad for Young, which should have been my red flag, but I was oblivious. So, Dad for Young sends me a message that just says, What's up? And I reply without looking at his profile first. I then look at his profile and notice he is 54. His only profile text says, quote, the younger the better, and his only picture was a zoomed in blurry picture of a hairy chest. So, needless to say, I was very much not interested, but given my inexperience, I thought ignoring him would be rude. So, I kept responding. I don't totally remember what we talked about in the 10 or so messages we exchanged at first, but I do remember him saying I was very cute. I know I told him I was a student, but I never mentioned how young I was. And it's important to note that I live in a small village of roughly 10,000 people. He started getting more sexual in his chats and asked if I wanted to meet up. I felt bad flat out denying him since he'd been so polite, so I told him that I didn't want to meet up with him that day, but that we could keep chatting if he wanted to. I figured that was that, but about 30 minutes after that, I got another message from him, saying, Hey, I thought I'd take a nice drive out to I'd like to point out I had not told him the name of my town, nor how I told him my name. His profile now says he's a little over 2,500 feet away, and every time I reopened his profile, the distance would decrease. I was fully losing my shit at this point, since the guy had the ability to pinpoint my location. My parents were away on some kind of retreat, so it was just me. The distance was down to 310 feet, and I was completely losing my mind and didn't know what to do. So I just deleted my whole profile. Nothing else happened that night, but I was absolutely terrified he was going to come knocking on my door. Fast forward to three days later, I decided to re-download Grindr. Later that evening, I got a message from someone with the display name, quote, we'll find you with the exact same gross profile picture as Dad for Young, and my stomach sings. He sent a flurry of messages. You fucked up. Almost got police called on me because of you. Couldn't find you, so I had to go to another house and find someone else. Freaked out, I blocked him again and deleted my profile, then deleted Grindr. I refused to re-download it or any other dating apps since. I know me sat in front of a camera asking you to not use Grinder is not going to change anything. But if I can convince at least one young and vulnerable LGBT person to find a safer way of exploring and expressing their sexuality, then I feel as though I've done a good job. Thank you so much for watching.